Hey, g'day, my name's Adam Underwood. Uh, my mates call me Undies. Um, I went to this school, actually. Didn't grow up in a, in a Christian family or anything like that. Didn't really know much about it. Sort of mum and dad divorced when I was sort of pretty young. And uh, it was sort of me and my old man and, and my brother. Sort of ventured off on our own and brought up around the soccer, soccer club all my life. I've played sort of 26 years doing that. Yeah, then my um, my brother passed away. Uh, yeah, suicide. So that was uh, that sort of knocked me, knocked me for sick, big time, big time. And I sort of uh, went off the rails for a, for a long time. Didn't know where I was, what I was doing. Sort of put my whole family in in jeopardy. Met a couple of people from soccer that sort of come down to the church and Greg invited me to come to church that first night up there at uh, Saturday EV and it ended up being totally different to what I what I thought a church was, you know. Um, yeah, very warm and, and just felt very accepted, I guess, but on the other hand, I thought, sort of thought, oh, I'm going to be out of place here, you know, I don't really belong. But um, yeah, I did and then someone sort of gave, gave me a Bible and I started reading into that and listening to sermons on the podcast and that, and it just, it just hit me. Yeah, the life course was really good, really good. Um, a lot of people there asking questions and, and they answer them for you, you know, like, it's helpful. All the big questions that you want to know about, but you might sort of think it's a silly question to ask, but you ask it and, and there's an answer for you, you know from the Bible, which is, which is solid. So that went for six weeks and it just got better and better. Basically the claims of Jesus and how the Bible um, is trustworthy and how it hasn't changed over so many years. And you know, that was just solid for me. That, that, that made my mind up and I repented then and put my trust in Jesus, so. Yeah, there's definitely a wrestle there, especially with the soccer crew. They're fairly good friends. They sort of have a job at you at the moment. Say, so, oh, you know, what are you, what are you doing? Hang around, come and get drunk with the boys, and so that sort of weighs on you a little bit. But um, you know, I got I got the, the family at home that that need me more than they do. So yeah, I put my trust in Jesus that He's going to show me the way to live. You know, give me the strength. It's just solid hope for me and my family and hope for this church too, you know, I hope that it can, it can reach as many people on the peninsula, you know, I've been here my whole life. There's a lot of people that don't know about Jesus, you know, and that need it, that really need it. And I hope it can reach all them. He lived the life perfectly, and then he died a death in my place, what I deserved, you know, and then rose again three days later. Salvation's a great thing, you know, like, you'd be mad not to accept that offer. And it's just life-changing, life-changing, it really is. And I thank God every day for it, yeah.